Jones from the Midnight Patrol 10, Carmel, California. Send for the coroner. You can lead a horse to water, but a pencil must be led. Honesty is the best politics. Two peas in a pod. You know I can't hear you. I have an ear full of milk. The fine convention you got us into. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Grand Sheik Chuck Culver of Oasis Number no. 60, The Busybody's Tent. The Busybody's Tent was orchestrated in February of 1985 under the leadership and founder and former Grand Sheik, Peter Luke. In August of 1985, Roger Crowe was elected Grand Sheik, and in August of 1990, I was elected Grand Sheik. The banner that you see behind me was made by the Busybodies member, Fern Sires. The logo on the hat is the brainchild of the Busybodies' very own Grand Visor treasurer, Dave Kerwin. One unique thing about the Busybodies' tent we meet in two states, insanity and hysteria, better known as Wisconsin and Minnesota. Now at this time, I'd like you to meet the rest of the busybodies. That's all there is, there is no more. That's my story and I'm stuck with it. Grand Sheik of the Dirty Work Tent at Tacoma about to give you lucky old sods a bat's eye tour of our town. Aside from Bing Crosby, perhaps Galloping Gertie is our most famous conception. Stan Laurel performed here at the Alexander Pantages Vaudeville House in 1919, around the same time W.C. Fields and Smothers were still touring the boards. The 1100-seat theater has since been totally restored, and it was also here Dirty Workers Carl Madison and myself presented Marcel Marceau with an honorary membership in our tent. Tent founder Bud Card explains a bit how he picked Dirty Work as a theme. Eleven founding members of our tent were all active or retired firefighters, and that's about as dirty work as you can get at times, and so hence the name. We uh, have our constitution, which mm -hmm. we follow religiously, except for the drinking part. Yeah, right. Well, we just have a darn good time. You brought him all the way here to Las Vegas. This is another fine mess you've got me into. Hi, I'm Eric Woods. I'm the Grand Sheik of the Come Clean Tent in the UK. And I'm Steve Barclay. I'm the Vice Sheik of the Come Clean Tent in the UK. That's the same tent that I'm a member of. Here we are outside my house, Laurel House. Why don't you come in and have a look around? Well, here we are in the Come Clean office in he Eric's house. So this is where it all happens and Eric will tell you about it. This is where it all should happen. <laughs> Steve and I get together regularly, we plan the meetings, we've got a tent that's been going now about five years, we've got about 60 members, we meet once a month, but... Come on Eric, it's too nice to be indoors, let's go home. Let's get outside. <laughs> so finally, to Sherry and all his team, who've organised what I know will be a brilliant convention, the best of luck and thanks on behalf of the Come Clean tent for all the hard work you've done. All the best from Come Clean Witness England. Hello everybody, we are Oasis 75, the me and my pal tent from Belgium. We are glad to be back in the States for our third international convention. Last year we had a lot of radio, newspaper and television coverage, so we have a lot of new members in our tent. 
We have now about 110 members and the highlight of our 92 season was the Belgian Oliver Hardy centenary in hand, where 900 people showed up. And another highlight was the Dutch Oliver Hardy centenary in Amsterdam, where 2,400 people showed up. Also greetings from the Dutch Grand Sheikh Bram Reinhout, and we hope to see you again at the Euro Convention in 93 in Holland. We are now looking forward to meeting you all in Las Vegas and to have a great convention. out of the cab in Sons of the Desert and they got it perfectly timed where he runs around the cab and just as he gets to the other side they open the door mm -hmm. and knock him flat. Mm -hmm. Bonnie Scotland when they clean up the garbage and they plan to get some life into it. Right, you know? right, right. He comes home from duck hunting. Mm -hmm. She's carrying ducks. Yeah. How, how, how common can that be? <laughs> I got my shotgun and I've never missed yes. Right. Yeah, you know, I don't know what ever happened to Dorothy Christie. She could be alive. To Oliver Hardy and Hal Roach on their 100th birthdays, and to all the conventioneers at Las Vegas 92, may they have a swell time. Here, here. Here, here.